Donald Trump take the oath of office in Washington, D.C. on Friday. And a group of local police officers uh, went to our nation's capital this morning to help keep those crowds secure. Local 12's Perry Shively is outside District 1 Police Headquarters right now where local officers headed out on buses this morning. Morning, Perry. Well, good morning to you, John. You know, they left on a bus about six o'clock this morning, which means they are now on the road to Washington to help out with the inauguration. Certainly going to see some history being made. Many of them said they were very excited just to be there. And the interesting thing is that they volunteer for this way before the election ever happens. A lot of times they don't even know who the nominees are going to be. So certainly going to be a historic day on Friday. Record crowds are expected to line the parade route, the streets of Washington to see that historic moment. And protecting the masses, 40 of our very own Cincinnati police officers. Those officers, again, already on the road. They're going to help with the crowds at the parade. Tomorrow, when they get there, they'll be deputized by Washington's Metropolitan Police Department, along with 3,200 others from around the country. Their assignment to help keep the crowds secure along the parade route. It's a coveted position, and for some of the officers, it's their first time going. Others have gone before. Uh, it's a historical moment uh, uh, with everything that's, that's going on with uh, you know the pre presidency. Just looking forward to being part of it and representing our city. We're not worried about the politics. We're, we're there, as Sir, uh, Kevin Strahl said, uh, we're there to support the Metropolitan Police Department, do the best to make sure people who are along the parade route are, parade route are staying safe. And it's not we, long before this election was decided, we, we as a department recognized we were going to go out and support the agencies that are out there. And, do our best to make sure we represent Cincinnati and our police department to the best of our abilities. And the Cincinnati Police Department has provided support to the last four inaugurations. The officers will return here to the Queen City on Saturday. John, back to you. All right, thank you, Perry. Uh, and the Metropolitan Police Department, the Washington, D.C. Police Department, pays for the officers' travel and a